Hey guys, welcome back to my devlog. I'd like to thank all the people that responded last time. It was really helpful. We had uh, some good discussions in the comments, and uh, a lot of good ideas were brought up. I think the biggest problem that people had was that the game wasn't too clear. So that's what I focused on this week, was making the game nice and clear. So the first thing was that it was pretty hard to find the player character at a glance. So the game gets pretty hectic, so you want to be able to just like focus in on your guy, look down at the menu, go back up and see your guy again. And you couldn't really do that. Everything was gray and red. So what I did was I made the character blue, and I also doubled the size of it. So it's like really easy to see now. Um, and it has these crazy wings on it, so it's looking like some crazy butterfly thing. And it looks completely different from all the other enemies. So now you can see it really easily. And somebody brought up that the enemies were looking like Among Us characters, so couldn't have that. And so I made them look like V's instead. So I think that looks a lot better. Another thing that I did was try to make the explosions look a little bit better when the enemies blew up. Before it was just like these little smoke particles came out, but I added a bunch of sparks, and I also added the sparks whenever you hit them. So there's this cool little sparking action that happens and then they die. When they die there's a big explosion. So I might make the sparks do damage, I'm not really sure right now, but I think that would be kind of cool. Somebody suggested that I should add a background, so I added a, uh, I made a little program that can generate backgrounds and added it in, um, and I think it looks pretty decent. The stars look a little bit too big, but I think it looks pretty good because it's sort of like this blurry blue looking color and it looks pretty spacey. Another thing was that the UI wasn't too clear. So I tried to make the border around the player orange to sort of signify that the orange pieces are your health maybe. It's, it's sort of a vague direction, but maybe that will help, hopefully. And I also added counters, proper counters for the ammo and score. And I made a font from, uh, I scaled down the Cambria math font to like a six point and it looks like this really cool pixel font so I'm gonna be using that and the numbers look pretty good from it so I just slap those on and it looks pretty decent I think it's not too clear which one is the score and which one is the ammo until you start um, you know obviously you're not gonna have like 15,000 shots but I think what I'm gonna do to make that more clear is add like a little icon that changes based on what weapon you have picked up so that will probably fix that so just don't worry about that for now um, the final thing I did on the graphics side was make a pause menu. So if you hit escape, there's like a little menu that pops up now and it pauses the game. And uh, there's no settings, but I think that's good to have for now. Just to sort of like, eventually there's going to be like obviously like a main menu. So I was just sort of testing out like how that would work. I think I figured it out. So I should have to add more menus at some point, but I don't want to do that now because it's like a test build. So that's it on the graphics. On the gameplay side of things, I did some interesting stuff. I tried to make the enemies die a lot quicker. Before, they would take a lot of shots, and you could get into this state where you're fighting little clouds of pixels, which don't represent the ships anymore. They sort of get like blown up in the middle, and then there's like a point cloud that you're fighting, and that's sort of whack. So what I did is I made it so the enemies also have the core pieces that you do, and whenever a cell gets removed from a tile, it scans the tile with like a flood fill, from the core and then if a pixel isn't connected to that flood fill then it also gets removed so you can like chop off pieces now and it looks pretty nice i'm going to add a thing that like that piece that gets chopped off sort of like floats away in the world but i haven't done that yet but it is doable pretty easily so right now they just get removed but i think it looks pretty decent um, either way so it makes it so they die quicker and then another thing i did was make it so the core needs to have a shell around it or it dies too so now the enemies only take like, I don't know, it's like one to four shots at max they take. And I think that's how it's going to go because the enemies that are in the game right now are sort of supposed to be like the fodder enemies. So it makes sense for them to die really easily. Another thing that I did was make it so the, to make the health system a little bit more interesting, I made it so if you have under half of your pieces, then a three second timer starts counting down. And then if that reaches zero, then you explode also. And uh, so the UI starts like getting red and shaking and then you explode. And I think that makes it so you can't just sort of survive as one little pixel. And because your stuff gets chopped off too. I think it just, it adds a little bit more challenge to it. You can't just sort of fly around forever. Um, it makes it more like you have to go actually get your bits. I didn't change what the levels do or add another enemy, unfortunately. And I didn't do sound. So <laughs> it was more just trying to make the game more clear. And so now I think that I have a good idea of how to keep it clear. Now I can just start adding more weapons and bullets and uh, enemy types and stuff. 
in the first episode I was sort of talking about like working on tools forever and I sort of did a similar thing still with this where you know I'm making a weapon and instead of making just a weapon it's like I make a system where I can define any type of weapon possible so that takes way longer than just making one weapon so I only have one weapon now but I can add all of them later super easily and I sort of did that with like the uh, the the weapons and the projectiles and stuff so uh, there's only like one of each but I can define more so I'm, I think I'm gonna do that next week I think I'm gonna next week's gonna be the, the week of content into the game and then we'll do a week of audio engineering and then a week of uh, polish or something and then it'll probably be close to being done almost and then I don't know maybe I'll uh, try to let the feature creep come in and then I'll try to like add a couple extra cool things um, so yeah that's sort of the progress if you want to go over to regolith.winter.dev I'm gonna eventually make a website that's not just the itch page that will sort of encapsulate this whole project but for now it's just gonna still go to the itch page and you can download it if you want it will be the proper build um, you can leave some feedback again it'd be great if you have any ideas um, for things that can change if you find any bugs I would appreciate a comment. So thanks, guys. I will talk to you next week. Bye-bye.